This is Glance at the Past, a local history radio project presented by the Grand Rapids Historical Commission and the Community Media Center. Today's story, The Smoke Inspector. We tend to think of air pollution as a current dilemma, but in the early 1900s, the nation's cities, including Grand Rapids, experienced rapid industrialization, which led to an increased use of coal for fuel. The banks of the Grand River were lined with industries that contributed to the haze of smoke that hung over the city. Severe air pollution caused citizens to protest, forcing councils to pass smoke abatement ordinances and employ smoke inspectors. In April of 1907, Louis C. Towner became the city's first smoke inspector. When Towner began, He worked to educate businesses by showing them how to reduce costs while burning coal more efficiently, thus cutting down on smoke, soot, and cinders. Towner only used a firm approach with those who refused to reduce their smoke emissions. His office was on the first floor of City Hall, but he maintained a perch in the City Hall Tower. The clock was housed on the first floor of the tower, and a metal ladder reached to the top of the tower where he had built a platform overlooking the city. From this perch, he collected data and took photographs to back up his evidence. Through Towner's influence, the International Association for the Prevention of Smoke was founded. It's now known as the Air Waste Management Association, and in 2007, it celebrated 100 years of environmental stewardship. For more information about Grand Rapids history, visit the Grand Rapids Historical Commission website at historygrandrapids.org.